Hello again. Today we are going to continue our series of videos about Hammerspoon with uh, this short video on learning how to use spoons with Hammerspoon. Let's get started. You may remember from last time that we started writing a simple configuration file for Hammerspoon uh, where we coded some of the actions that we wanted um, Hammerspoon to take for key bindings and things like this. Of course, you can code as much as you want with Hammerspoon. You can automate everything that you want. Um, but what I want to show you today is how to be able to do useful things with Hammerspoon with very little coding by reusing existing modules that other people have already uh, developed. And these are called spoons. If we start from the Hammerspoon uh, webpage, we can click here on spoons, and this takes us to the list of official spoons that are already available and ready to install. Uh, just taking a quick look here, uh, we can see all sorts of things for clocks, for example, um, caffeine for preventing the screen from going to sleep, brew info for displaying homebrew formula info, uh, clipboard management, color picker, um, translation, emoji selection, all sorts of things. And I encourage you to go through this list, visit this page and see all of the different modules that already exist. I want to show you just very quickly how to do, uh, how to use one of these uh, modules. And for that, we are going to start with a very simple one here. This one, which is called circle clock. This uh, spoon simply uh, draws a clock on the desktop. Doesn't have any, any API no uh, need to configure anything you just download it and use it and you download it by clicking this uh, link here we download the, the spoon zip file and it's already unpacked we can just open it and then hammer spoon immediately tells me spoon is installed and that's it basically apparently nothing happened but if we now come to the spoon to the hammer spoon console we have to say hs.load spoon and we say the name of the spoon circle clock that's it loading spoon circle clock and now i have a clock here on my desktop of course if i now reload uh, hammer spoon, the clock goes away. And the way to fix that is to add this hs.loadspoon uh, statement in my hammer spoon configuration. So let's just put that here. And now let me show you my desktop. When I reload hammer spoon, now the, the spoon gets loaded automatically and the clock is there. Uh, Next time, we are going to look at how to further automate not only the loading, but the download and installation of spoons uh, by using a spoon itself, which helps us with this process. For now, let's stop here. Uh, as uh, before, I invite you to uh, visit my website or get my book, Learning Hammerspoon, if you want to learn more. And see you next time.